Okay, kids, it's time for books. So cut up to mum and dad and let's rock and read. Today, I'll be reading you Sarah and the Steep Slope. And this is how it goes. Sarah opened her front door and there it was. Looking at the sun and casting a shadow across the house. Sarah wondered how she would get to see her friends. She gave the slope a gentle sorry, she gave the slope a gentle prod, then a little push. It didn't move. How'd she ever get over it? She tried sneaking out the back way, but it was still there. She tried surprising it. The slope didn't budge. She finally, she put on her climbing shoes. But she only made it halfway up the slope before she needed to stop. Then she slid all the way back down. And remember kids, remind mum and dad to subscribe so you can see all my books. The next day, Sarah kept an eye on it through the gap in her curtains. The day after, she watched it through the keyhole. The following day, Sarah ignored it all day long. Eventually, Sarah called for a slope doctor. The dog's looking. Tell me what you see, asked the doctor, holding up a cart. A slope, said Sarah. And this one, asked the doctor. A slope, said Sarah. And lastly, said the doctor, lots of slopes, said Sarah. I see, said the doctor. He handed her some more cards. I think you should take these, he said. Sarah wondered. She scribbled something on them on each one and asked the doctor to post them to her friends on his way home. Sarah's friends came to visit the next day. They didn't notice the sleep soap. Where have you been, they asked. We've missed you. They stayed and played all day long. They crossed rapids, brave bridges, scaled mountains. When they were tired, they stopped for breath. When someone fell down, the others helped them up. The next morning, Sarah peered through the gap in her curtains. She squinted through the keyhole. Finally, she opened the front door. The slope looked different. Far away at the top, her friends were waiting. Taking little steps, stopping sometimes for breath, Sarah climbed to meet them. Just when she felt she could climb no further, her friends held up their hands and helped her up. Now Sarah holds hands whenever 
she can and manages even the stupidest like this. Well, thank you for reading with me, Sarah, and the stupid slope. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.